Alright, how's it going folks? Howdy gents! It's your boy Big Dog here with uh, another video and this video is a review on the 862D dual uh, soldering iron station and hot air blower. Okay, um, I'm a television repairman. I don't do not uh, use um, this every day so that's why I didn't go out and spend you know three four hundred bucks on one because I already have a pretty good one I'm, I'm in the field most of the time but I actually uh, I've been doing hot air for a while uh, using a gun uh, like this okay now uh, this gun here is um, very big and I have uh, blown some components off uh, around the actual chip that I was trying to desolder you know or heat up and uh, so that's why the reason I've got this one um, because as you can see the tip is a lot smaller and I tend to do less damage or blow other components uh, service my components off the board while I'm trying to use it now uh, what comes with this uh, as you can see you get the hot air station the iron is really nice okay uh, I really like that it heats up very fast uh, it is variable uh, I'm going to zoom up uh, for you in a minute I just want to show you a few basics here uh, the hot air you can turn the air up or, and you can also turn the temperature up for the hot air, which is very nice. Okay, I believe it's about uh, uh, almost 500 watts as far as the hot air. And uh, they also give you this little, uh, you know, okay, first let me show you this. The hot air uh, nozzles for the hot air gun. Okay, so some are a little bigger, some are a, a little uh, smaller gauge. And uh, of course the tips, if I didn't show you the tips yet, <laughs> okay. Uh, so they give you six tips, one's already on there. And they also have uh, this little thingamajig here, uh, which they also give you. Uh, I was trying to figure this out, so I thought it was for... I was getting some steak out of my teeth one time, and I was, and I figured out that uh, this particular tool was not for picking your teeth. So uh, we'll figure this out later. And just to give you a closer look at this machine here, and we're actually going to test it out. And um, we're going to test it out and uh, see exactly what it can do. Okay, um, before I bought this, uh, like I said, this is only 50 bucks on eBay, uh, brand new uh, from China. Uh, well, actually, it's uh, the uh, person that the company or whoever that, sent, that sends this out to you, uh, if you're in the United States, uh, it's actually in the United States. Uh, so if you have a problem with it, you can send it back, and, you know, it's no big deal, right? You'll get it in like a week or so. But um, I was... <laughs> Uh, the reason I'm making this video is because uh, before I actually purchased this, after I seen it on eBay, and, and uh, of course, you know, like all technicians, we go on the internet and look for reviews and look for demonstrations of it. Uh, people were actually doing reviews on this, but they were actually taking the actual hot air station apart, okay, showing you what's, what's inside. Okay, that's cool and everything, but I want to know, does the shit work? Okay, does the hot air gun blow out enough heat where I can pull off surface mount chips? You know, I'm just speaking from a television repairman's point of view. Okay, so today that's what we're going to do. We're actually going to work on some circuit boards and see how how the hot air station and the soldering iron uh, do compare. Okay? Okay, uh, here's the unit here. Got it all lit up for you. Um, you get... Uh, you have to install the holder here, and uh, for the your uh, air your air blow your air gun your hot air gun. That's what I'm trying to say, right? And the soldering iron uh, heats up pretty fast, like I said. So no question there. So that's working. And another thing I like about uh, this actual sponge they give you, it has a pre-cut, almost cut hole in the middle. So if you want, you can tear that out. And put your uh, your soldering tin uh, cleaner, you know, and, and right in the middle of there. So that's cool. Um, okay. And uh, when you first get this unit, so basically when you when you get it, you just plug in your hot air gun. Plug in your iron with the two connections right here. And uh, don't do like I did. I was like, I was hitting the switches. I was like, and nothing was happening. I was like, damn, this sent me some defective shit. Your main power is, uh, let me turn it around for you. 
is uh, on the back there. That's your main power button. So make sure that is on, and then you can actually turn the rest of your functions on. Now, uh, what I really like about this hard air gun is that you can actually, uh, it will actually cut off when you put the gun back in the holder, okay? So you want, you know, set your house on fire, right? <laughs> right? Which is cool. It has a magnetic uh, sensor uh, in the actual heat gun handle here. And I'm going to show you in a minute so I get the power up. So what we do, we'll hit our hard air, uh, which is right here. We'll turn that on. And like I said, you can adjust the air. You can hear that. Okay. And uh, you can also adjust the uh, temperature, uh, which is right down the one right down here. That's the hot air temperature. Okay. Now, uh, watch this. I'm actually going to hang. You, you set it. You set it here. Okay. And you actually see the temperature drop back down to where it's supposed to be at. Okay, so that's the actual gun heating up to 463. And now watch this. I'm actually going to put it back. And what it's doing now is cooling. It's cool. You see how the uh, temperature is going down? It's actually cooling the gun off with like cooler air, I, I would guess, uh, to cool the element off that it's using. And even if I switch it off, it's going to wait until the, the gun actually cools uh, before you stop hearing it. Okay. And uh, so do not. Uh, unplug or cut the power off in the back until the the uh, until the actual gun element is cooling is cooled okay because you don't want to you know overheat it when you go to fire it up next time I don't know why it didn't cool again but let's see here let's turn that back on hot air and let that see now the temperature is going down so that is really nice I really like that uh, it's kind of a safety fe uh, feature uh, you know and it also conserves the life of your of your heat gun okay so uh, what else can I say about that um, let's go ahead and uh, get to the little uh, demonstration started I'll go ahead and hit that that's for the solder 9 and the, and this is the actual controls right the only thing I don't like about this is the the words you can barely see the words it almost like you had like okay I don't know which one is for the solder 9 and which one is for the hot air but I have to look real close and see it's like okay this is the solder 9 okay so that's a variable and uh, you pretty much have to have this iron set up. So I, I would say about three quarters of the way to almost 480. Uh, if you want to do some serious soldering. Um, otherwise, to me, it's not, you know, that. It, it, it heats up fast, but, you know, maybe it's a tip I got on it. I'm not sure. But uh, what we're going to do, we're going to do a little experiment here and uh, see just how great this stuff works, okay? Okay, so I've got a uh, board here. This is like an uh, LG, I think, uh, main board from a TV. Um, uh, the first thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to test the iron and uh, take off. Uh, this is looks like the EEPROM uh, for the main microprocessor chip, uh, which I think is right here. Um, so it's on the bottom, and uh, we're going to use the iron because actually it is uh, EEPROM is actually easier to use. Uh, with an iron they're trying to like blow hot air on it because um, uh, they don't have a metal tab at the bottom uh, like some of these regulated chips do and um, yeah I'll work where is one at let's see like these here uh, sometimes those regulated chips you, you probably you probably can notice but they're actually a little skinnier than the EEPROM they're all about the same size the EEPROM's a little wider uh, but um, they actually have a metal tab on the bottom to help for heat compensation and it's much harder to take that off with a uh, solder down. You would need some hot air. And I've been, you actually been using my gun, um, which is kind of risky because if my gun gets, uh, the heat, the actual heat gun, the big one that I just showed you, gets very fast. It's very hot, very fast. And what happened is a lot of times these surface uh, mount components um, around here, they'll start sliding off. And you know, the next thing I know, one's this, this, Capacitor is way up here somewhere. So, okay. It's situated here so you can see. We're going to unsolder this EEPROM here. And, uh, I'm going to turn this one, might be able to see it better. And basically, all we're going to do is just going to heat both sides up with some solder and it should slide right off.
So basically when you're doing the bottom, you just want to put, you just want to short all the pins out on one side, and then on the other side, and then we'll go back and forth, and it should slide right off. There it goes. Okay. And uh, that's it. Okay. There's no metal tab on the bottom, okay? So now let's find a regulated chip and see if we can use our heat gun to remove that, okay? Um, so I'll just zoom out right here. You can see, okay, hold on. Okay, we found us a victim right here, a little chip right here. Okay, so I got, after uh, I lifted my uh, my heat gun, um, it automatically came on, which is a very nice feature. Uh, you know, this, this is like way more convenient than using my my, my actual uh, big heat gun. Um, it's, it's much safer. You don't have to worry about you know somebody hitting the switch and walking past while it's laying on your on the rug or something like that. Right? It's the damn house on fire. But, uh, okay. Now, actually, I've got my air at about six, uh, which is like three quarters of the way. It goes up to eight. And I've got my temperature at about, uh, mm, let's see here, about 460. Okay. Okay. Temperature is up. Okay. And because this has a tab in the middle, you probably want to try to get, you know, as much as the, on the top, as much air on the top of the IC also as well. So it'll heat the tab up on the bottom of it. Well, a lot of guys actually heat the bottom of the circuit board up, but uh, this would be much more convenient than doing all that and flipping stuff around. Absolutely amazing. That is definitely much better. And as you can see, the metal tab on the bottom of the IC. Okay, that is definitely much better than um, using my heat gun to get this off. And actually, that one even seemed easier. Um, it came off much quicker. And uh, I will definitely say that this is uh, an amazing little machine here. Uh, out of 10, I will definitely give it a 8, uh, especially for the price. I hate this damn camera. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's zoom in and give you another good look at it again. Uh, once again, this is the 862D Plus uh, 2 in 1 soldering iron and heat gun station. Only 50 bucks off of eBay. Uh, the only thing that uh, I don't know is the longevity of this, you know, uh, unit if someone uses this every day. But uh, everything seems like it's pretty well made. they got some nice soldering iron tips, which are pretty well made. The irons, you know, okay. Uh, well, like I said, the plus it heats up very fast. And the hard air gun is actually pretty damn good. I actually like this station. And I, I am very glad I purchased it. So, yes, I would highly recommend this to any beginner or intermediate or even a professional um, if they're not into using a hot air yet. And as you can hear it, it just clicked off. And uh, that's another feature that I definitely like about this is that it, the hot air cuts off when you hang it up. 
it cools down, you know, until the, I guess whatever they use inside is cool, and then it will actually cut off. And now if I were to pick it up again, um, there it goes. And as you can see, the temperature is going up. And also, I forgot to mention, if you want to turn that automatic feature off, it will automatically cuts off the switch right here. Which would be stupid to do that, because, I mean, you know, why would you want to do that? You could be going to set something on fire, right? <laughs> okay, once again, this is the 862D. Um, highly recommend this um, to anybody, and I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, if any questions, leave me a comment. Uh, make sure you like the video. Um, have a blessed one.